Mind, I'm Megan McDonald. The WAC Baseball Tournament took place over the past week in the beautiful Mesa, Arizona at the Hohokam Stadium, the home of the Oakland A's Spring Training Facility. Championship game, Utah Valley versus regular season champ Seattle U. Picking things up in the fifth, UVU up 1-0. Trevor Howe singles to left center, advances to second on that fielding error, and in comes Justin Erlinson. Later in the fifth, 2-0 UVU. Zach Willis to the plate. Willis triples to left center for an RBI. Howell scores there to go up three on the Red Hawks. Up next is Grayson Bogdan. Bogdan singles up right field, and Bogdan brings in Willis to increase the lead to 4-0. Bottom of the eighth, same score. Bases are loaded for the Red Hawks. Logan hold with the big time strikeout to get out of the inning. Bottom of the ninth, UVU up 4-0, two outs. The final chance for Seattle U to make a comeback, but that's not going to happen with the out at first. Utah Valley wins the WAC tournament 4-0 and advances to NCAA Regionals. Wolverines are all set to take on LSU in the Baton Rouge Regional. In other exciting news, the NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships West Prelims took place in Lawrence, Kansas over this past week. The WAC was represented by 10 student athletes in all different events. Utah Valley's Nick Taylor made UVU history twice last week as he double punched his ticket to Eugene, Oregon for the NCAA final rounds, qualifying for both the 100 and 200 meter dash. The senior ran the 100 in a time of 10.31 seconds and the 200 in a time of 20.66 seconds, running the fastest heat of the day and finishing in fourth place. Also going to Eugene is UMKC's Bryce Miller in the steeplechase. The senior finished second in his heat with a time of 8 minutes and 45.43 seconds to punch his ticket to the national stage for the second year in a row. You can watch all your favorite championships from this year on the WAC Digital Network at WACsports.com slash live. For more information, check us out at WACsports.com or follow us on Twitter and Facebook.